shots all day long. And we stab ourselves with sharp objects all day long. There are people around the world who would cry about that. Um, diabetes is like when your blood sugar is lower or something and you have to like have certain foods or something in your system so that your blood sugar can stay at a certain level. I think that diabetes is a condition a lot like bad eyesight where your pancreas doesn't produce enough insulin. Um, my eyes don't focus light correctly. So somebody that's diabetic needs to have insulin just like I need to wear glasses. Um, I know that Nick Jonas has diabetes. That's all I know. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease. That means that my own body suddenly decided to attack itself. Whether it was because of genes that I inherited or triggered by a stressful event like the flu. The symptoms of diabetes just prior to diagnosis were my daughter was ill and was not getting over mono and strep throat. And in a matter of two weeks, she had dropped 20 pounds. Um, the night before she went into the hospital, I took her to urgent care where a doctor diagnosed her as being having an eating disorder and stating that um, she needs to have more, um, more food in her diet. Um, and I told her that definitely was not the problem. And that she had, that day, drank almost a full case of water. The doctor took a blood test, and I did not get the results back till about 24 hours later. We went home, we went to bed, my daughter asked to sleep with me that night because she was really not feeling very well. Her skin that, that day and that evening became very dark, discolored. Her um, skin became very rough looking um, to the point where she looked like she was like a dried piece of leather. Um, I remember waking up at about midnight. Um, my daughter was telling me that she was dying. And that um, was very scary. She th said that she, her heart felt like it was, it was going to stop. She was weak. I picked her up, and we um, got her in the car. And I was on my way to Children's Hospital at about one in the morning when I suddenly got a call from her doctor's office stating that results came back from her blood test, and that. Her blood sugar was at 9.75. Your organs start shutting down at about a thousand. So needless to say, it was a very scary moment. Um, we were, I told the doctor we were already on our way to the hospital because my daughter told me she was dying. She knew she was. And once we were in the hospital, we spent the next 12 hours in the emergency room where she was rehydrated and then officially diagnosed. Um, and then she spent the next couple days at Children's Hospital and learned the sad, you know, facts that she was gonna have to deal with this for the rest of her life. I was diagnosed in November 2005. It was right as things were starting for us in the band. And it was kind of the, the what we look back on as the, the tougher period in, in our mm -hmm. career. Mm -hmm. I, I started to, to deal with some symptoms that were more along the lines of, you know, like a cold or something like that. 
start to see some weight loss and the, the, the bad attitude that comes with the high blood sugar. And I went to see the doctor and my blood sugar was over 700. It's a, f it's a full life change. I mean, for, for a little while there, it's you're, you're thinking about everything you're doing. And, and after a while, you kind of get used to knowing how many carbs are in something and knowing what's good for you, what's bad. Um, it, it just hits so fast and you never, you never expect something like that. I'm able to, to see it. At first I wasn't able to, but now I know the signs. Um, she will be very lethargic. Um, she'll have blurred vision. She'll be agitated, short-tempered, um, and she'll be um, very thirsty. It's not so much, you know, the one time that she has a high blood sugar. It's the continual or off and on and not keeping your blood sugar to be because I know what can happen over time when you have high blood sugar. But I worry about the long term effect. Maybe not, you know, when she's 17 or 18, but when she's 35 and 40 and 50 years old, what will the effects be on her body? can go a little quickly when you haven't eaten properly or you haven't had enough um, carbs and uh, protein and suddenly um, you notice that somebody um, will be very dizzy, they could be um, perspiring, um, have a dewy glow and they'll be um, like almost jittery, real nervous. Which the real downside to not getting your insulin is it makes you feel like crap. That's all I can say is it makes you feel terrible. It's, it's like trying, I'm not a diabetic so I wouldn't know how it feels. I'm not a big drinker but I can tell you this, we all know that if you know, Maybe not all of us, but if you have one too many drinks, you might feel really miserable the next day and it might take a while to get over that feeling. I'm guessing that might be the same type of feeling when you haven't taken your insulin. Is that you you're you know you have a feeling that it's just gonna take time to get through. You can't, you know, suddenly take a shot and feel good again. It might take all day, it might take half a day before you get to feeling well again, which means you've got downtime that you know, it's like a waste of time. someday they find a cure. I, I can't imagine having to be diabetic and, and I'll never know what it's like. I know it's really tough for, for kids and young adults. It's something that's never going to go away for them.